Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl, adapted by Kenzie T. Once upon a time, there were three farmers, Bogus, Munz, and Bean, one fat, one short, one lean. These farmers were nasty and mean. In the valley, there was a family of foxes, and there are four children. There is a mother and a father. Each night, Mr. Fox asks Mrs. Fox, What shall be tonight, my darling? Mr. Fox steals from the farmers. When Mr. Fox popped out of his hole, the mean farmers tried to shoot him. Bang! Uh oh! Mr. Fox's tail got shot off, but he is still okay. The farmers are going to try and dig them out. The farmers started by trying to dig them out with sharp shells, but the fox outdug them. Then the farmers tried to sh- try, try to dig them out with huge, loud, and noisy tractors. It was close. The farmers. And the foxes were in a race. The farmers are still trying to dig out the foxes, but the foxes are getting tired. The whole crowd is getting smaller. The hole is getting smaller and smaller by the minute. The crowd is coming around the corner. The foxes are now starving. The children are begging for food, and Mrs. Fox is getting very weak and worried. The farmers are bribing the foxes with a delicious chicken. The farmers make sure that the Foxes don't dig out by placing a hundred and eight men around the hole. The farmers are getting impatient, but Mr. Fox has a plan. Mr. Fox and the four children started to dig and dig and dig and dig in a special direction. The farmers have reached a wooden forward. They popped up and saw a glorious sight. Mr. Fox told the biggest fox to bring the chickens to Mrs. Fox and tell her to prepare a feast. When the biggest fox got to Mrs. Fox, thought she was dreaming. She didn't think that the chickens were real. She opened one and then closed it again. The little fox told his dad, told his mother, you aren't dreaming. The chickens are real. Dad said to tell you to prepare a feast. And a feast it will be, cried Mrs. Fox. And a feast it shall be. Dad said to tell you to prepare a feast. As they were digging, some more a hole formed in the top of the tunnel. Out popped Badger and a little Badger too. Foxy, Badger cried. Badger cried, Mr. Fox. Long time no see, Mr. Fox told the little Badger that he invited all of them to a great feast. The tunnel was going in a terrific pace down now that Badger was lending a paw. Soon they came to another floorboard in the roof of the tunnel. Mr. Fox lifted up the floorboard and revealed the contents of the room to the other animals. This room was Bunce's giant storehouse. The group took some ducks, geese, ham, bacon, and carrots. The carrots were for the rabbits, of course. As the group was digging along, they reached a brick wall in the tunnel. There was something behind the brick wall. It was a rat. The rat's name was Rat, and it was a boy. Rat, who said, go away, it's private. Mr. Fox told Rat to be quiet, and Mr. Fox, Badger, and the three small foxes went past the brick wall and digged a bit more and saw a floorboard, then lifted it up and saw a bean cider cell, and it started to drink. They started to drink the cider, and they got drunk. A woman came down the stairs, and they ran and hid behind cider jars. There was a fat and tall woman named Mabel who almost grabbed the cider jar Mr. that Mr. Fox was hidden behind. Miss Bean... Mrs. Bean was talking about how Mr. Fox's tail got shot off. Then Mabel went back upstairs, back up, and off they went back to the tunnel. (sighs) 
When they got back to the hole, their mouths dropped open and they began a feast. Some people did a toast to Mr. Fox and Badger. What happened to the farmhouse? Well, let's say, say they're still waiting for the foxes. The end.